Welcome back to another new series. This time we're going to be doing Marvel Avengers. So for the first one in the series, we're going to be doing Captain America. So let's jump straight in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to map out the body. So in order to do this, we're just going to do a rough uh, diagram of what we need. So I'm just going to draw a nice big circle oval for the head. And then from that, we're going to do the shoulders coming from the neck and then a nice big round shoulder on the left. And then on the right side, he's going to have half a shoulder because it's sort of tilting to the side. So just roughly draw in the middle circle bit where his star will be. And then his other pectoral. And then he's got half a shoulder on this right hand side. And then we just roughly put his bicep in. And then we're going to cover most of his body with the shield. So he's going to have half the shield on the left side. Right. So now we have a good starting point, we've got our structure. So we're just going to make a start on the face. The first thing we need to do is draw a straight line down the middle of the face. Then I'm going to draw a, a line roughly in the middle of the face, straight across so we can get the eyes aligned. And then I'll put enough rougher, another rough line underneath for the nose as length. Once we've got that, I'm just going to start mapping out the eyes. So in the middle, I'm going to put a dot and then two dots either side. And then I'm going to want to do them equally spaced apart to get the eyes. And this will also get the width of the head. So as you can see, how I've put the dots along. One eye on the left there and one eye on the right. And an equal space in the middle where you could put a third eye. That's how much gap I'm leaving. I'm just going to put a little circle down at the bottom for where the nose will hopefully go. I may need to adjust it later, but just for now, roughly that is where I'm just going to go. So now, we've got the eyes in, and we just need to start detailing them. Alright, so if you, as you can see, I'm just doing them slightly round on the bottom, and then go up and in towards the tear duct. So it's a very typical eye shape. And on the right side, it's not quite the same. It's just very round on top. So I'm going to go up across almost like a half circle, judging by the reference photo. And then underneath, it's again nice and round, but comes in a little shorter. So the eyelashes must overlap. Now I'm just going to add in the a thin layer of eyelid at the top. It's got a little blurrier. And then I'm going to add in the iris. It's a nice half circle on the left one. And then on the right, I'm going to add in another eyelid that overlaps, comes out a little further than the eye itself. And then we're going to add in another eye iris on the right eye. Again, it's a half circle. Top part is under the eyelid. And then immediately above the eyelids is the top of the mask. So we just draw a diagonal sort of line down. Down at an angle toward the nose. So the mask just comes down by the eye at an angle. Then up towards the bridge of the nose. So you want it to look like it's sitting on the nose. But we will double up the lines at some point. So just do the bridge of the nose here. So it comes down diagonally. We double up the line at the top. And then we'll just add in a part going to the top of the head. A little square in the middle here. This is like where the shadow is. Then we'll make a start on the right eye. So same principle, it comes up just above the eyelid. And then round. It sort of reminds me of when we did the flash tutorial. Same mask. So the eye comes down diagonally. And then down diagonally. And then it's flat on the bottom before it comes up on an angle towards the nose. So it goes over the bridge of the nose. So 
and thicken some of these lines up. So now we can add the top part of the mask. Just a little bit, try and make it a little bit easier. Get some reference to the picture. So I'm just lining up where I think the A is going to go on his helmet. So just line that up with the eyes. Just put a line across to make sure it's straight and then I can rub that out later. So from here, okay, we'll go up diagonal. And then it's a nice flat middle. So I just finished the top of the A off and then we can make a move on to I think we'll start on the bridge of the nose. So if you just add it in the middle, it comes down on an angle. You just line up the eyes. It's gone blurry again, absolute nuisance. So you get it across the nose and down. And then we're just gonna try and make the nose point at the bottom. Just extend the top of his mask. And then we're gonna to have to make his head a little bit longer at the top now because of the A we've done a bit higher up. So nice and round at the top. That's not round enough. So I'm just gonna try and curve it a little bit more so it's not as sharp. Onto a nice round top. And do these uh, twisted on the side of his mask. Just rub that out so it's a bit flatter, the line. And curve it a bit further down on the left side, and I can rub that little bit out. So we've got a nice round curve on the top of his head. From here we can start putting it down the sides, try and make it a little bit more easier to get some of the details on. So it's all about the angle really on the side of his mask so it looks 3D. So we need to focus on the shapes that we do. So here his ear, top of his ear comes out level with his eyes. I'm just going to bring that down. And his mask comes out diagonal and up to the top of the nose. Just put some texture lines on this left side and then I'm just going to put some detail in on the top of the mask it's got some like marks or I don't know if the straps or something but they're on the top of the head and then we bring down this right side which is a bit wider so we'll start on the mask on this side comes down diagonal and then a similar shape to the left side so you want to go diagonally down on the eye and then up towards the outside. It'll look quite right, so I'm going to have to alter this a little bit. Just double up these lines. So I think his nose might need lower. Just try and draw in his nostrils. He's got quite a pointy nose. Probably because of the angle. And then this right side nostril. I think if you rub the A out of his forehead now, it would pretty much just look like the flash. So just rub this nostril out and do that again. Give it another go. So I'll add in where his nostril outer part is and then I'll try and add in the actual nostril hole so his nose looks a bit flat I want it to be a bit more pointy so 
I'll just give that another... I'll just rub it out in the middle so I can make it more triangular, more sharper at the bottom. So I'll just add in a little part of his nose at the top there. And then his nostril is sort of, yeah, a bit triangular like this. So it's real sharp. But I just think the nostril's too curved on the left now. So I think I'm going to need to rub that, that out. So just rub the left nostril out now. I'm going to make it a bit just left diagonal. Yeah, a bit more straight. Not as much curve on it. And then add the nostril in nice and small. Curve that up a little bit. That's a bit better. It's nice and pointy. It's a bit more like him. So here he's got the... Where his lip is. Need to get the distance. I'm not sure how far to do this down. That might be a little too far. So to get the width of the lips, I'm just going to line them up with the iris on each eyeball. And that will get me the width of the lips. So I'm just going to do... Sort of like a curved line across. That'll be the middle of his lips. And I can thicken that line up. So his lips here want to be a little bit more pointy on the top, I think. So I might have to rub that bit out. Try and make them a little bit sharper. Like that. And that's his top lip. Now I think his bottom lip's slightly fatter than the top one, so I'm just going to try and bring this down. I don't think this is too big. Keep it going, see how it turns out. So I'll thicken the middle line up. It's not the best. I'm not particularly happy with that, so I'm just going to add in the iris, try and make it look a bit better, so I can determine how the face looks. Alright, so he's got cheekbones coming in on either side. So just try and add the cheekbones in. I'm just going to rub the lips out now and try again. So just quickly draw the shape of the lips so I can try it. So just circles of the th thickness of them. So that's roughly what it would be. And then he's got like a dimple in his chin. And then the bottom of his chin he has the mask on. So his mask comes down to about there. So we just draw this roughly in so we know where the lips really want to sit. So the strap comes round from the side of his mask. And so it comes down and then under the jaw. There's some little hooks holding it together. And then down. Right. And then he has neck on this side. His neck's exposed. On the left side, there is no neck because his shoulder's there. He has a little strap where it changes direction. It's got a couple of buckles. And then up to the side of the mask. And then the ear. More or less in line with the nose. Maybe a little bit lower than the nose. Right, so the lips, if we just start with a line in the middle again. It's not a straight line, it's curved. So I was up in to the side and then down in the middle and then back. And then the lip, same as before, same principle. And then his lips, fat on the bottom. Just fit them circles in. It's not too bad. 
quite happy with them lips, they look okay. Shade them in a little bit. Now, the only problem is, I think the lips could do with being a little bit higher up. Although I'm happy with them lips. I'll just finish his strap at the bottom of his chin. And just finish this right hand side. Now, I mean, you could get away with it and leave the lips where they are. But I think I'd prefer to lift them a little bit higher up. So his cheekbones are here, coming inside. I'm going to have to rub it out because I want them a little bit higher up. I need to add them higher up. And then I think it'll look better. So I'm just going to quickly do the same again. I'm just going to cut a few circles, get the shaping out. Come a little bit wider. It's nice and curved on top. Down on either side. And then you've got the line in the middle. Try and do that nice and curved and thicken it up. Lip on the bottom a little fatter. So I've done his lips shorter here. I think I need to widen them. I'll just thicken his bottom lip up. And I'll just thicken the line in the middle. I'm just going to extend them so they're slightly longer. Draw a little dimple line underneath and thicken that one. Alright, so now I think we just need to alter the side of his mask. Just rub that out a little bit. It's more steeper line going up around the back of his face. Just put some texture lines in where the sh shading is. So this part comes down. So it's kind of curved, curved line. And it goes back towards the back of his skull. And just put some texture lines on there. And then this is where his ear is going to be on the right side. So it's in line with the left ear. And just add in the strap at the bottom, a bit of his cheek. And then the ear is going to go in line with the bottom of the nose. So if I just add this in here on this right side, and then we'll have to change the one on the left. So it kind of looks like he's got cauliflower here, probably from wearing this mask. So then line it up across. And then on the left side, I'm just going to thicken the lines up and rub out the bit at the bottom that's too long. Curve that in a little bit, make it a little bit wider as well. That looks better. So this is pretty much his face is done now. We can start on his shoulder. I would say this bit hopefully is easier than the rest. So he brings his collar around. And then it's got a couple lines in here. So on this side the collar comes out from the back of his neck. And then down. Same on that side. So that's his collar. Now we can make a start on his chest area. Thicken these lines up. Double them up or thicken them. Should really be doubled up, but you can't see with a pencil, but I'll do it with a biro later. So I'm just going to rub this collar a bit out. Make it a little bit... More on angle, a bit narrower, yeah, like that, and down. And it's going to come out a little bit at the top and then down at the bottom. And then I'll continue his collar part. So I'm just going to rub out a few of the guidelines I used while I can still see them. Do with a smaller rubber. 
Right, I'm just going to bold, make these lines a bit bolder and curve them on the A. So it's sort of curved a bit more 3D. There we go. So now back to the body. So his shoulder comes out to the left on an angle. And he has his strap for where his bag bag is. I think it's a bag, I can't remember, it's in it in a while. But he has his brown little straps across his chest. Might be for a shield, forgot. Right, so it's thicker at the top, then comes in and goes narrower. So just double these lines up here for the buckle on his shoulder strap. Let's finish that texture lines there across it. And it's got a couple more lines coming down on the strap and then we can move on to the shoulder. So it comes out a little bit and it has some lines coming diagonally across and then down. This is like his shoulder armpit area where it, the suit's movement is. And then wants a nice round shoulder on this side. So it wants to be bigger than that. Do it nice and big. And I'll make a start on the middle. So it comes down like this and then back up and to the left. So we just double these lines up. Same on the right side, it goes, follows the line parallel to it. So it goes with that sort of angle across. And then the sh other shoulder inserts. So he's got a strap on this side, but this strap on this side is narrower. So we do this one a little bit thinner. And then we'll make a start on the middle where the start is. So I'm just going to do it quite rounded at the top. And then across on the right, do this one a little bit more pointy. Straight over on the left, parallel. And then down, so the top part of the star is relatively easy. It's the bottom bit that's going to be a little difficult. So I'll just roughly try and draw it. So as you can see, that's a little bit short in the middle. It needs to come down a little bit longer. Shape's roughly there. I'm going to have to rub it out. I'll try it again. It might be easier if I put the inside pieces in. And that'll get me reference down a little bit. Make the bottom part a little easier. So they're just like diamonds in each section of the star. So just follow the triangle shape. And then it's like little diamond top and then we just need to find where the last two pieces are going to go so it comes out a little bit so it comes down and if we just follow that other line on that side for the pentagon top part diamond sorry and then it falls down so it's kind of like a crystal off crash bandicoot so it goes straight down, and that's sort of made it easier now. Just double these, double thickness these lines, and then I've got my star. And the last line, boom, I'll do for now. Just shorten it a little bit, the last one. And it's got a couple of markings in each segment. So just quickly add them in all the way around. So now, I can make a start on the right side of his body. So he has a strap on his arm going that way. And then another one coming further down. And that goes on an angle. And then a third one also goes on an angle. Like so. And this is where his pectoral comes in. So you just round this off this part and then bring it in 
towards the middle. So now it's the same on the left side. His chest curves in just behind the shield and down, bring the strap down a little bit. I think you want to widen this side of his shoulder, make his strap a little bit thicker, maybe. Yeah, so just rub his arm out. I'll just redo this bit real quick, and make it a bit thicker. Right, so his strap comes further down and all the way up round his neck. So it goes narrow at the bottom, wider at the top where his buckle is, and it goes rounded over his shoulder. So then that curves round. You've got his pattern on his shirt that comes across here, and you've got your diagonal lines to fill back in. That comes straight down and then he's got America badge on his shoulder so just quickly draw that in nice and small put a few stars in and then his shoulder curves there so once you've rounded the shoulder off on that side we can make a start back in the middle. So another strap beneath, so it's a pattern on his, jerk, on his shirt, comes down and then wraps around his shoulder. So it curves like this and the shield, top of the shield blocks it off. So if we just draw the shield in a little bit where it will be, kind of round like that. We're going to have to extend the strap down on his arm a little bit. So at this part, we just want to do his lats, I believe it is, on his left side, coming in, down to his waist, that goes just behind the shield. Right, so we zoomed out a little so we can see the bottom part of the body. So here he has another stripe on the left side of his body, and then a third and final one that goes at a similar angle to the other one. And just thicken these lines up, double it up, make it a little bit bigger, I think. Right, so now I just put some texture on, on his body suit and just colour that little bit under his neck on the left side and I'll colour the collar part on the right just going to make his shoulder a little bit higher up on that left side just rub it out and curve that and then we need to draw the buckle back onto the left strap I forgot to put on so it's just the same as before as I drew it I think it's a little bit bigger now. So there it curves round and then a couple lines either side on the strap and a little buckle at the bottom. Just double it up above it. And then on the right side it's a little buckle, the same part. And then it goes narrower down. Do some texture lines on there. And then we need to put the shoulder in line with the other shoulder. Only it's a half, half exposed this side. So from the angle, we can only see half of his shoulder coming out. Now we want to curve this down. So we're going to extend his shoulder a little higher. Because there's a... that's it, that's better. And then the strap falls down perfectly. So the stripes continue on to his arm in the same fashion as they did off the chest and then his bicep so the body just comes down tapers sort of in the middle you've got this shape like a padded six pack area comes down like that and then it has lines across it 
on either side. Same on the right side of the body. Down near his ribs. And then if we just curve it across here. So this is as far as we're going to draw it down really. This is as far as we can see on the reference photo. So we'll just finish off what we can see on his ribs. We'll double these lines up, make it look a little bit more 3D. Put some more shading across each part of his muscles. And then on the chest and neck. Shade that bit round for the shield. So my shield just curves round and you'll see the first two stripes on it. So we've got four stripes in on the shield, we just do them to the straight line. And we finish off his arm on the right side, which sort of goes like this, bit of texture on the inside of his bicep. Then it follows a pattern like that. And we're just gonna get a ruler and draw a straight line across the bottom. We'll rub out what's gone over it. And we'll cap the picture there. Cap Captain. Hmm. So there we go. That's pretty much finished. I'll just rub out some more of the um, guidelines. What I can see. I'll probably go over it in a biro anyway. And then I'll rub out all the pencil work. So that's where I did on the DC tutorials. And now I'm gonna go over it with a black biro, uh, go through the thicker parts of the lines to make it stand out a little bit and rub out all the guidelines and that's it, pretty much done. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next uh, video, which will be Thor, I believe. So see you next time.